Hey guys, Cam Robinson here with a very expensive GS News update. The deal is real. Microsoft has bought Minecraft creators Mojang for a cool $2.5 billion. Both parties confirm the news via separate posts on Mojang.com and News.Xbox.com. But wait, do you like to play Minecraft on a non-Microsoft device? Well, don't worry, say Mojang. In the studio's rather cryptically titled post to fans, yes, we're being bought by Microsoft, it suggests that the deal will not result in the deletion of Minecraft games and apps available on non-Microsoft devices. There's no reason for the development, sales and support of the PC, Mac, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Vita, iOS and Android versions of Minecraft to stop. Although they conceded that, of course, Microsoft can't make decisions for other companies or predict the choices that they might make in the future. Microsoft also chimed in with words to similar effect. Xbox head honcho Phil Spencer explained that whether you're playing on an Xbox, whether you're playing on a PlayStation, an iOS device, our goal is to continue to evolve and innovate with Minecraft across all those platforms. Whether or not Sony will allow a Microsoft product on its consoles, however, is a question that's yet to be categorically answered. GameSpot reached out to Sony Computer Entertainment Europe last week when rumours of the acquisition first began to circulate. At the time, SCEE commented that, We cannot comment on any acquisition. However, we can confirm that we are very excited Minecraft is now available on PS3 and PS4 and coming to PS Vita later this year. GameSpot contacted Sony again for additional comment on the acquisition, now that it's official, but did not hear back at time of recording. So make sure you check out the full written news story on GameSpot.com for the very latest updates. So, how much money will land in Notch's already fairly cash-laden lap? Well, the Minecraft creator owns 70% of the company, according to the Financial Times, so that stands to make him $1.75 billion from the deal, although how much of this is in cash and how much is in shares is unknown for now. Exactly how much of this sum he plans to spend on hats, though, is yet to be confirmed. But if he does, GameSpot's smartest numberologists have calculated that at 30 bucks each, $1.75 billion equates to roughly 56,666,666 fedora hats. Assuming he reaches the average life expectancy in Sweden of 81, in his remaining 50 years of life, that works out at 131 hats per hour, or a hat change roughly every 27 seconds for the rest of his days. Regardless of how many hats he does end up buying, however, Notch won't be wearing them as an employee of Mojang, as along with the chief executive Carl Manna and co-founder Jacob Porser, he will be leaving the company. So what do you make of this story? Happy to see Microsoft at the helm? Sad to see Notch's involvement in the game come to an end? Or just confused as to why I spent so much time converting vast sums of money into hats? Let me know in the comments down below, and for all your video game news, keep it on GameSpot.com.